Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Burton, the creator of Crystal Age Technology Screens using smart technology game. We usually have the lights on when I say that. Let's talk about your environment. Now, first things first, you do not want to be in a dark environment. Say this is your home right now. Would you feel comfortable having this be in your living room and or and have any screen in there in order to uh, make sure your picture does not fade or wash out, this is the incarnate environment you would have to to do introduce to your and um to your living room in order to accommodate your projection screen. Now, if I'm watching TV or sports or doing a little gaming, I would want to have my area well lit. But if I'm doing a movie, of course, I would have a little darker in here because I want that movie theater experience. But this isn't a movie theater. This is actually my living room, so I'm going to treat it like my living room. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to come over here and turn our lights on. Now some people may say this is extreme lighting, but this is everyday lighting. You're getting homes condensed lighting. A lot of you have this kind of lighting in your home. Yes, those are my sloths right over there. So anyway, our projector we're using the long throw 1080p sits back around 14 feet from the screen and some change, okay? So we're 14 feet back on a long throw projector. We are doing this demonstration on a 178 inch 235.1, but today we're gonna do it at 140 inches of 16.9. Screen does both, uh, 235.1 and 16.9. Now also too, uh, keep in mind, we don't have to block out any of our windows. We don't have to worry about any of the light coming in and um, and interrupting our picture quality. I've seen demonstrations where somebody literally had the projection screen right against the window and they had the blinds shut and you just see a little bit of light peeking out. What's the point of having a beautiful living room or having a living room period if you're just gonna keep all the windows blacked out? That's, that's, just, um, that's, that's, that's just being a caveman. That's pretty much what it is. Remember the commercial so easy a caveman can do it? Anyway, so. Let's get some light in here, all right? So we're gonna hit our blinds. Beautiful day outside. Look at that, beautiful day outside. Why in the world would I wanna block that from coming in my environment? Now, if you look at my screen, you see how much light is hitting it. As a matter of fact, we'll turn off the light so you can see how much light is engulfing the screen. And like I said, I've seen demonstrations where somebody will open up the door, but the screen is behind the door. That proves nothing at all that your screen is supposed to be ambient light rejection. But like I said, you're willing to try this demonstration yourself in your own environment uh, with anybody else's technology or with our technology. And like I said, simple and plain, no gimmicks. There's a window, light, screen, and projector. That's it. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my projector off black mode. Voila. And we are going to begin. Oh, you think the picture looks like this, doesn't it? You're probably thinking, wow, that doesn't look so good. Watch this. Now we are, with our time here, we are around 11, oh, 11, 24 a.m. That's right right now. And I got a good amount of light coming through my window. Now around 11 or 12, this is when you have a lot of light that's going to, actually early in the morning, and around 11 or 12, this is when the most light is going to push through your, um, your, um, your, your, um, your, your living room. So as you can see, I don't have to have my environment darken. I don't have to put objects in front of my um, windows to keep any light from coming in. I can sit here in a fully lit environment and I can watch TV. As a matter of fact, where my door sits right here, open my door, it's right here, got plenty of light coming through the door and as you can see the screen looks absolutely fantastic. Now look, I'm going to move the door right here. You can see my door is open right here. I'm going to open it up. So we have light cascading from the door I have here, <laughs> it keeps from shutting, to the window, which you can see right here. And I can see my projector, my screen does not sit behind my door. When I open up my door, the light comes from the um, from outside and it's in right direct line with my screen. 
Okay. I'm gonna shut my door there for a minute. I think my neighbor came outside. I'm like, what in the world is he doing? So this is just to show you right here that, you know, in this demonstration, I don't have to be in a dark environment. I don't have to worry about the window uh, cascading too much light in and causing my screen to fade out. Because as you can see from the demonstration, when I turn out the lights, you can see where the whole entire screen is engulfed with all the light. These screens are designed, actually this is using smart technology game times nine, also using color enhancement technology that allows the screen to boost the color capability from the projector. Now I'll come over here and I'll shut my blinds. There we go, blinds are shut. Now here we are still in a fully lit environment and the screen still looks fantastic. Okay, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain, telling you to get out of the dark. This is the future when it comes to um, home theater screen paints. As you can see, I can sit here in a fully lit room around 13, actually, sorry, 14 feet back from the screen, and the screen looks absolutely incredible. Now, our screen paint is available on our website right now. Keep in mind, you can use this with projectors as low as 200 lumens. It does work with short throw, it does work with long throw, and it does work with ultra short throw projectors. The screen paint is 4K and 3D ready, and you can use it outside. It is fully weatherproof. This is a one coat application. It is available in two quarts, and it comes with a blackout cloth surface that is five feet by 10 feet, that's free. Also two, two gallon, uh, sorry, one gallon, sorry about that, will come with a blackout cloth surface that is 10 by 20 feet. Everything does come with free worldwide shipping. All right, thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration.